your 2018 Miami Open presented by Itaú men's singles champion, John Isner. Today, we're about to serve up a question that's hotter than a freshly microwaved tennis ball. How good was John Isner really? I mean, sure, the guy can hit a serve harder than a rocket launch, but was he the tennis titan we all remember him to be? Or was he just really good at making us hold our breath for tie breaks longer than a Marvel movie? John Isner, a prominent figure in the world of tennis, has left an indelible mark with his powerful serves and memorable matches. It's time to take a closer look at his career, achievements, and his impact on the sport. John Robert Isner. Standing tall at 6 foot 10, was born on April 26, 1985 in Greensboro, North Carolina to Robert and Karen Isner. He has two older brothers, Jordan and Nathan. Isner started playing tennis at age 9. He played for his high school of Walter Hines Page Senior High School where he helped lead them to a state championship in 2001. He also played in 10 junior tournaments which included the 2002 US Open and the 2002 Orange Bowl. He also made the finals of a tournament in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Coming out of high school in 2003 as a heavily sought-after prospect, Isner was recruited by the University of Georgia Bulldogs. He was dominant in college, compiling a win-loss record of 143-28 to in singles and 140-27 in doubles. He was ranked the top tennis player in the country on numerous occasions and won many tournaments. Some highlights from his college career include winning the 2005 NCAA doubles title partnering with Antonio Ruiz Rosales, winning the 2007 team event against Illinois and reaching the 2007 NCAA singles finals. He ended his college career after his singles final loss and team win in 2007 and turned professional. In 2007, John Isner took the plunge into the world of professional tennis marking the beginning of a journey that would ultimately make him a household name in the sport. With his towering presence and booming serves, he quickly garnered attention on the circuit. One of the defining moments in his early career came in 2007, when he reached his first ATP final. It was a thrilling achievement that showcased his potential and left fans and pundits eager to see more of what this American giant could bring to the game. By the end of 2007, Isner had also cracked the coveted Top 100 rankings a significant milestone for any aspiring tennis player. His rapid rise was a showcase of his raw talent and determination to compete at the highest level. In the year 2009, John Isner continued his ascent in the world of professional tennis, and his journey was nothing short of remarkable. He made significant strides in the rankings, breaking into the top 40, which was a sign to his growing prowess on the court. What really set this year apart was Isner's breakthrough against some of the sport's elite players. He achieved his first top 10 wins, demonstrating that he had the ability to take on and defeat the best in the world. These victories not only boosted his confidence, but also solidified his reputation as a formidable opponent. Isner's impressive performances in 2009 left fans and experts alike buzzing with excitement, wondering just how far this American tennis sensation could go. The year 2010 proved to be a watershed moment in John Isner's career a year that would go down in tennis history for several reasons. First and foremost, 2010 marked the year of Isner's maiden ATP title. Winning that first title is a moment every tennis player dreams of. And for Isner, it was the culmination of years of hard work and dedication. This victory not only validated his potential, but also instilled in him the belief that he could compete at the highest level. But the defining moment of 2010, and perhaps one of the most iconic moments in tennis history was the marathon match at Wimbledon against Nicholas Mahout. This epic showdown lasted an astonishing 11 hours and 5 minutes spanning 3 days. It was the longest match in tennis history and the final set alone went on for a jaw-dropping 8 hours and 11 minutes. Isner emerged victorious in this historic contest, etching his name into the record books and earning the respect and admiration of fans worldwide. As if that wasn't enough, 2010 also saw Isner's ranking soar to a career high of number 19 in the world. His remarkable achievements on the court, combined with his indomitable spirit, had propelled him into the upper echelons of men's tennis. The 2010 US Open was a pivotal tournament for John Isner. As the 18th seed, he embarked on a challenging journey in Flushing Meadows, determined to make his mark on the Grand Slam stage. In the first round, Isner faced Federico Gil, 
and emerged victorious. However, what made this victory even more significant was a revelation after the match. Isner disclosed that an initial diagnosis had indicated a right ankle ligament tear, a potentially devastating injury for any athlete. Yet, a second opinion brought a glimmer of hope. It revealed that the damage was a strain and not a full tear. Isner's declaration that his ankle was 90% healed showcased his resilience and determination to persevere through adversity. Undeterred by his injury, Isner pressed on to the third round where he faced the formidable 12th seed and 2006 U.S. Open semifinalist Mikhail Yuzny. Despite a valiant effort, Isner fell to Yuzny in this challenging encounter. Unfortunately, this loss caused him to drop out of the top 20 in the rankings and relinquished his position as the second-ranked American player, slipping to the fourth spot. Isner kicked off the year 2011 in style by teaming up with Bethany Maddox-Sands to win the Hopman Cup, a prestigious mixed-team competition. Their victory was an assurance to his ability to excel not only in singles, but also in the demanding world of doubles. But the true highlight of 2011 came at the Grand Slam level. Isner reached his first ever major quarterfinal at the US Open, an incredible feat that showcased his progress on the biggest stages of tennis. The Flushing Meadows crowd rallied behind their homegrown hero as he pushed deeper into the tournament. Not content with just one milestone, Isner went on to clinch not one, but two ATP titles during the year. His consistent performance on the tour and his ability to come through in pressure situations were on full display as he added more silverware to his collection. John Isner's impressive season extended even further as he made his mark in the prestigious Masters 1000 Series event in Paris. Isner's journey through this tournament was nothing short of spectacular as he battled his way to the semifinals facing some of the world's toughest opponents. In the semifinals, he found himself in an epic showdown against a talented Joe Wilfried Sanga. Isner's resilience and determination were on full display as he held not one, not two, but three match points in this closely contested match. Despite the heart-wrenching loss to Sanga, his remarkable run in Paris catapulted him back into the top 20 of the world rankings. As the year drew to a close, Isner's consistent performances throughout the season culminated in a year-end ranking of number 18. This marked his second consecutive year-end top 20 ranking and notably his highest year-end ranking to date. If you're enjoying this video, kindly press the like button and subscribe for more fascinating tennis content. The year 2012 was another eventful year in John Isner's tennis career as he continued his ascent in the rankings and achieved some remarkable milestones. One of the standout moments of the year was Isner's first appearance at a Masters 1000 series final. These tournaments are among the most prestigious in the tennis world featuring the best players on the planet. Isner's journey to the final was a testament to his growing prowess, and though he may have fallen short in the championship match, reaching the final was a remarkable achievement in itself. Furthermore, 2012 saw Isner's debut in the top 10 of the ATP rankings, an incredible milestone that reflected his consistent and impressive performances on the tour. Breaking into the elite group of the world's top-ranked players was a validation of his talent and hard work. In addition to these accomplishments, Isner's hunger for titles remained insatiable. He secured two ATP titles during the year, showcasing his ability to come through in clutch moments and win on the biggest stages. John Isner, welcome to the top 10. In 2016, John Isner reached his third Masters 1000 Series final, solidifying his reputation as a consistent performer in elite tournaments. This achievement underscored his ability to compete against the best players in the world. Additionally, he maintained his position in the top 20 of the ATP rankings for the seventh consecutive year, showcasing his enduring excellence on the tour. The year 2017 was marked by further success for Isner as he secured his 11th and 12th ATP titles, a victory that reflected his tenacity and ability to consistently perform at a high level on the professional circuit. In 2018, John Isner achieved several career-defining milestones. It's a fourth Masters 1000 final in the career. He won his first Masters 1000 series title, an extraordinary achievement that highlighted his growth as a top-tier player. Isner also reached his maiden Grand Slam semifinal, a significant breakthrough on the biggest stage in tennis. By the end of the year, he attained the world number eight ranking, firmly establishing himself among the elite in the sport. The year 2019 saw Isner reach his fifth Masters 1000 Series final, 
reinforcing his status as a consistent contender in prestigious tournaments. He maintained his place in the top 20 of the ATP rankings for the 10th consecutive year, a testament to his enduring excellence. In 2020, Isner advanced to the third round of the Australian Open. However, the season was disrupted by the COVID-19 pandemic affecting the tennis calendar and player schedules. Isner continued to add to his legacy by securing his sixth Atlanta title in 2021. Singles champion John Isner. He also reached his 13th Masters 1000 Series semifinal. During the year, he temporarily dropped out of the top 30 rankings but made a successful return. The following year, 2022, Isner achieved a historic sunshine double. Doubles champions, Hubert Hurkacz and John Isner. Masters doubles titles in Indian Wells and Miami. His success extended to doubles as he reached the top 15 in the world rankings. Additionally, he set aces records showcasing his signature powerful serve. In 2023, John Isner reached a significant milestone by recording his 500th tiebreak victory in the Open era. However, he announced his retirement from professional tennis, marking the end of a remarkable career filled with achievements, records, and memorable moments on the court. During this memorable and fascinating career, Isner finished in top 20 for 10 consecutive years from 2010 to 2019 with year-end best number 10 in 2018 and overall 14 straight seasons in top 50 from 2009 to 2022. Finished as the number one American for eight years, he achieved career high number eight in July 2018 after reaching first Grand Slam semifinals at Wimbledon, won personal best 45 matches in 2012 and 2015, dropped out of the top 50 on the 10th of April 2023 at number 68 for the first time since the 7th of September 2009. Isner owns 16 ATP Tour titles, including six at Atlanta, four at Newport, and two at Winston-Salem, all tournament records. He became the oldest first-time ATP Masters 1000 singles champion as a 32-year-old at 2008 Miami, defeating Zverev, and owns five ATP Masters 1000 doubles titles. He served an ATP record 14,411 aces in ATP Tour and Grand Slam singles matches, including a record of 113 to win the longest match on record over Mahout in 2010 Wimbledon. He won five straight third set TBs for first career victories at 2007 Washington and counts wins over number one Djokovic, number one Nadal, and number two Federer among his 488 career victories. John Isner's tennis journey has been nothing short of extraordinary filled with triumphs, records, and unforgettable moments. As we bid farewell to this tennis titan, we're left with one question. What's your favorite Isner memory on the court? Share it with us in the comments below. And before you go, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting tennis content. Your support means the world to us, and we can't wait to bring you more thrilling stories from the world of tennis. Thanks for joining us on this incredible journey.